the lack of apparent compassion to the staff that focused on keeping staff happy. Sarah Nelson is the international president for the Associated Flight Attendants. Uh, she is also a former public relations director and flight attendant for United. I mean, let you represent the flight attendants um, at United, your, your organization does. Sarah, um, all right, come on. Brass tax, Ms. Nelson. I mean, who is to blame here? Well, uh, this was truly a disturbing scene, and as Oscar said, uh, horrific. And aviation workers across the industry were identifying with this as totally horrific and needed to be called out as such. Um, but, you know, this, this was an escalating set of circumstances, Richard. As you know, flight attendants as aviation's first responders have to manage uh, conflict on board the aircraft all the time, and the way that you keep problems from escalating to a bigger problem is to keep them off the plane. So much of this, many people are saying, should have been handled in the but gate area. We would probably agree with that. On so, the question, Richard, though, well, hang on, let me jump in. On the question of the um, uh, Oscars letter yesterday, now, we know morale has been pretty appalling at United, and we know that as a result of Oscars policies and the way he's i mean he's, he's a thoroughly decent guy uh I, you know I, 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 and a nice chap and he's a good ceo from from what we can see but his priority yesterday seemed to be keeping his his own staff that i empathize with you and stand with you all the way that was significant for you wasn't it it was very significant for flight attendants and um there have been flight attendants across the united system whether they are mainline and part of the uh, original operation or part of the express carriers um, such as this was on republic who have expressed incredible thanks for that because they were taking a beating out there and they were really not a part of this offensive disturbing event in fact their job every day is to maintain order in the cabin and so his um immediate action to tell the staff i stand with you to continue to fly right not be a, I don't stand with that sort of behavior. That wasn't his message. The employees heard loud and clear that this management team stands behind the people who make flying uh, safe, secure for everyone on board and maintain that order in the cabin on a daily basis with thousands of flights taking off all the time. Richard, you know United really well. Um, you have seen it through its ups and downs. And um, it really was in a disaster place before Oscar Munoz became CEO. And my experience with Oscar Munoz is that he is one who takes these issues very seriously. He is he is not one to just sign off and let something right. go. He will no. delve into it, he will hold people accountable, and the statement that was put out today is very much in line with who he actually is, my right. experience with him over the last year. So, if you take, and let's not go back too far to, you know, United broke my guitar, we can all remember uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, that, that is a long time ago. But if we take leggings and if we take this incident, and, and by this incident I'm not talking about the dragging off the plane, because that really is the responsibility of the Chicago um, law enforcement authorities. I'm talking about the incident leading up to the need to remove the passenger from the plane. Is this not an indication that Munoz and the senior team still have much work to do at UA? Look, United Airlines was so broken before he took over, and yes, there is still work to be done. But what I will tell you is the employees immediately responded to his statement, and we are seeing an entirely different turnaround at United. I, this wasn't right until the statement that he put out an hour ago, like you said, um, that was desperately needed. But the employees understood what they needed to do to keep the airline moving in a positive way, and as he put it yesterday, to fly right. Sarah, good to see you as always. Thank you very much, Sarah Nelson. Joining good. me, uh, you're Take in care Hawaii. Of you. Thank you. Uh, I, yes, I am. I'm talking to you from Hawaii. Sympathy has evaporated in Hawaii. Thank you very much, <laughs> Elise, for the the beautiful weather that you're probably enjoying there. Thank you very much, Sarah. Good to see you as always.